Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about the with statement, which will help you to create a sub table or a sub query. It's very easy and very powerful statements. And then using the with and the rank functions, we're going to create some interesting queries. Let's see the with statement now. The with statement in BigQuery is written as with employee as, and this is employee till the comma, and department as, this is the department table. In the employee sub table, you have select one as employee, Jack, age, and department, two, three, and four with four different employee names, and then you have departments as department. So now imagine two temporary tables, employment, employee and department, and then you do a select star only for employee from employee, which now you can use it as a table, join department using the name department name. This is a way to join in BigQuery. You can also write where employee dot department name equals department dot department name. You can do that as well. But this is an option. You can use it BigQuery. And this option is valid for any table, not just the table created using with. Please understand that once you run the query, the employment, the employee and the department table will not be available as tables to query further. You have to use this in the same query. Output of this would look like here. So you have select employee star, which is one, Jack, 35, and HR. It's a very simple statement to show you the power of the with statement. I'm gonna run that in a few minutes and I'm gonna show you. Let's look at how you can write the top selling liquor category for every county using the with statement. So you remember the rank function we discussed in the previous video? This is the query. Let's look at it. So with rank underscore county, uh, so I'm creating a temp table with using with rank county as select county category sum of sales dollars the same query remember the same query which we wrote in the previous video i would strongly recommend for you to refer to the previous video so this becomes a sub query a sub table a temporary table only valid in this query and then i do select star from rank underscore county where rank column, which is this one, the same, remember the rank function, which says based on what column, which is sales underscore dollars, descending order and partition. That means wise, the country, county wise, state wise, date wise, this is the wise. So rank over partition by county, order by sum of sales dollar descending as rank column. And here, I'm able to filter as if I'm running it against a table, any table or a view. So select star from rank underscore county, which is this query where rank column equals one. So it's gonna give me all the rank columns, which is one, which also means the top selling liquor category for every county. So if you look at it for the first five counties or maybe all of the counties is Canadian whiskeys which is the category of liquor being sold as per this table. Now let's make this a little more interesting. So what I'm gonna do is say, give me daily top two counties, daily, that means based on day, top two counties based on bottles sold. So let's look at the query. Remember, bottles sold is the fact, the number on which you wanna do daily 
top two counties. So take bottles sold as the sum, partition by date because you want daily. Same query with rank underscore date as select date, county, sum of bottles sold as sales, rank over partition by date, order by sum of bottles sold in the descending order. We name it as calc underscore rank. And here I'm just applying a filter where calc rank is less than or equal to two. This is how it will look like. So this is my with statement sub table sub query, and it shows you the top two counties for the sales bottles sold daily. Please make sure you do this in detail because we are gonna use the same query and do it differently using arrays and structures in the videos to come. So a good point for you is just practice it a little bit more and then we go into the details. So let's go and look at the query right now. So again, let's look at the with statement. So I'm gonna take this and run it for you. Run selected and you would see the output over here, employee name and this is the with statement just for you to understand how with statement works. Again, looking at the rank. So using the width and the rank, with rank county, uh, select county, category, sales, and by county, by county wise, county wise category based on the sales. Partition by county, order by sum of sales dollar descending. From BigQuery public data dot this, where county is not null and group by. Using this, I'm filtering on rank underscore column. If you want to just run the inner query, I can do that by selecting and say run. And it's going to take a little bit time, but then Remember the same query as we ran in the previous video. And then I'm gonna wrap this around a width table and you would see that it gives you top counties, category for every county. And the final query is the daily top two by counties, daily to a top two counties by bottles sold. Let's look at this query one more time. I want to find out daily. So by day, so partition by date, based on bottles sold. So order by bottles sold descending. Make it as a name. And then if I run this inner query, you see that it's always a good idea to dissect the queries and understand how it is run. So let's look at that. For every date, it tells you the counties and the rank. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit interesting by applying this top two filter. If you wanna do a top three, top four, just go and change this number and say run. You would see that the top two counties for every date is being shown here. So I hope uh, you are able to understand this BigQuery in detail now. There is no replacement of practice. You have to have a hands-on practice in order for you to really understand and go to the next level. Thank you for watching.